Hello guys, welcome back. Today we will be seeing how we can implement dynamic RLS in SuperSet. So what do you mean by dynamic RLS? Uh, in dynamic RLS, we will be having a table with user's username, then some filtering criteria on the basis of which user will be able to see the data. So what will be the filtering criteria? I will tell you once uh, we go through the data. So this is the data that uh, one of the subscribers shared with me. On YouTube in the comments and he shared this Excel sheet with me so I will just quickly tell what it we need so this is the data that he wants to show this must be the demo data as he shared with me but the, basically the th three things that we want to focus is are these three things on the basis of these three things the user should be able to see the data only what he is supposed to see so let's now go to RLS rules you can see we have created a label and filter so what is level level is nothing but the columns that we want to filter and what are the values that these should have so for example for this specific user the rsm should have value of cluster head so when this user super one checks he should be able to see only the cluster head one data something like this so let's see how we can implement it to implement this what i did i created a simple query which will just filter out rls data and using the fields in this thing i will just quickly explain so when the user is just just forget about how we are going to select the username as of now just consider that i have filtered out using the hard coded value of supe2 so what this is going to return is it is going to return only one row which is going to be our north one which is this one now we have to filter out the column this flm asm using north one so flm asm is going to be in this condition now we have three different level that's why i created three different levels and i tried to filter out with this but something is not working for me this and probably this is directly from us uh, google sheets that swipe might be this not be working but otherwise you just consider these things are included we don't have data like that so that will not be an issue for now but ideally we should have level filtered as well so once we have these filters uh, or these where clause implemented you should be able to see the data that only this user is supposed to see so that is the logical part so that is fine we can figure out logics and so on now the superset parts now we want this username to be selected dynamically for that superset is having one thing that you can just see like this for me this will not work as of now because it is not configured so it will just return this thing now to in order to get it ready what we have to do we have to enable the supersets feature flag so let's quickly stop our superset server nano superset config.py and i believe if we have we do not have anything so what we can do we can directly copy enter feature flag thing and paste it here close it and dot slash run superset dot sh let it load and i hope it is now oh okay see now it is showing the username is admin so there was a additional bracket i didn't see it and now it is like now the username admin is coming because my username is admin if we see this in new tab now my username is going to be admin so that should be it now what we can do we can just simply to copy this thing and paste it in our queries instead of this we can just paste it right this place right at this place right at this place and ideally i should not be able to see any row because admin is not there in this excel now uh, let me do one thing let me add admin and just copy this thing i don't know how much time it takes or how real time it is but let's see see 
now the data is coming as we added the admin part in here so this is somewhat like dynamic you don't have to manually do it just a table maintain a table with your application database and it should work now let me quickly to before i save this data set i have a user and the user's names are just same to the one that we have so let me log into this user and uh, so this user will not have any filters because even even if we filter something he will should be able to see all the records because all the data contains cluster it so let me do one thing let me select this user so i am going to log out and log in with this user and still till this point the user should be able to see all the records so see he is still able to see all the records even if the filters are uh, so the filters are not applicable so let me go ahead and save data set and replace existing which is rls data override override and the filters are applied now let's refresh it see now the user is only able to see two records because he is just having four and five and if i just remove four which i added because he didn't share this with me and save it so he should be able to see only one record so that's how dynamic rls will work in superset if you have any question you can contact me on uh, contact at directioncon.me if you like this video please do like share and subscribe thanks for watching bye